danger. Make it if you want it. He really did look like he was in more immediate danger. There should have been more than enough time to pull a tractor off him. God damn. What happened? You run out of fuel? Well, this is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. You better hope so. Also, it's very barren in this place. And the place looks like trash. Which means this place is no better off. Look! Hey there! You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. He is not friendly. He should have kept your mouth shut. Okay, you got lucky. Hey, you lady. Much appreciated. I hope we can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking need Relax. It. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. What two kids? Are you, ki are you kidding me? Let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. Then just go. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's the leader here. But it looks like she's losing control of her people. If you were in my shoes, you'd be the... Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. No. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It's Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to He's calm not bitten. Down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. He's not bitten. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! No, he's That's not! How you turn! He's not bitten! Please stop this! It's upsetting him! Oh! I'm upsetting him! Upsetting is getting eaten alive! Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. Do you? You're not fucking acting like it. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. If she's gonna if find a bite, does, then wait. The first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. Then we deal with it then. But right now, we're just freaking everybody out. And get ready to deal with it, because that boy is bitten. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. I will deck you. Knock this guy out. Happily. Oh, oh. Jesus. Oh, oh man.
<laughs> oh dear lord! Uh, what's going on? Yeah, get the fuck away from her! Oh my god, the Q action! My god, it took you sweet ass time! Man. Thank you! You okay? Yes! Just a bow. Great, thanks. That's not good. How convenient! Other people are making noise. I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad. You're having a heart attack? Good fucking ratings, you're a liability. What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Good lord. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. Especially food and water. Isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. <laughs> Lily and Larry. Good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And he better be fucking Keep grateful. Eye on front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now yeah, we're the new bosses now, motherfucker. Okay, so, uh, do we go and talk to people now? Hey, girl, what's up? You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. God damn. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. If she was an asshole, then fuck her. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? <laughs> huh? Oh, nothing. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Probably just needs batteries. Something so simple. Hmm, nothing. Yeah, because it's probably out of batteries. Wait, what? Couldn't figure it out, huh? Uh, I'm not done looking at it. Move. It's still not working. Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Can I just rotate or something? 
No! Stop putting it back down! Yeah, give it a try. Shut up, give it to me now. Let me have a look at that thing. I'm trying to rotate it, right. I keep right clicking. I need a left click. Doesn't work though. No! Pump it back up! Hmm, nothing. Yeah. Turn around then, take the fucking tinger. No batteries! Look no at batteries that! In this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, I mean yeah. And you were no. trying to fix I it? Try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Be that simple? God damn. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Huh. Well, until you fucking kick it down. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring him back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Jesus. It's nighttime already? God damn! And there's so many of them right now. Where did you all come from? Huh. Eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. Just absolutely oh, terrible. I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Yeah, no shit. So are we just looking around? I suppose so. Look at the one trapped over. Uh, Pharmacy! We need to get his tag! Oh shit. What? Do you know that guy? He could be a drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? Or at least I'm tag. He might have the pharmacy keys. I don't know. Could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and get all chewed up and Shut up, Doc. Who cares? It's the clothing. The clothing is a dead giveaway. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. He's got a fucking name tag. Jeez. It's a combination lock. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. I mean, how are we supposed to know if it's out there for sure? Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. What, did he get in already? Can I talk to you specifically? Yes, I can. We should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has them, but who knows if he actually worked here. He fucking does! How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? Uh, did I grow up here? I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. Great, so what are we looking for now? Sale! Too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, that's all I know. Well, that's a distraction spot right there. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And died? And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. 
All right, so we explored everything, right? We need a remote. Uh, hello? There we go. Do you think we're safe here? Well, I haven't been able to get through this gate so far. And the drugstore is safe enough, I think. Whoever owned it took good care of it. It's well stocked and it locks up well. Great, so let's go back in because I need a remote. Never mind. What's everyone like in there? Oh, well, Carly's pretty nice, you know. <laughs> yeah. Lily doesn't take any crap. She's been running the show, keeping people on watch, things like that. And her dad. Yeah, that guy. He's kind of a dick. Pardon my French. Anything else? Let's go back inside. Let's head back inside. Okay. We need a remote for a distraction, and we need to search that guy for keys. All right. Interesting. All right. Who else are we talking to then, huh? Okay. So we talk to you. What's this? Never mind. Who else are we talking to? Clementine, where the hell are you? What's this? A box of food. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Yeah, no shit. Clementine, how's it going? Hey there. Hi. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. This place looks like there's a bunch of food. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I think my headphones are dying. Why are my headphones good. dying? That's good. Uh, yeah, that's good. That's great. Yeah, that's fine. I think so. Uh, being good is good. Absolutely despite amazing. the circumstances. Yep. Well, sit tight. Yeah, sit tight. Okay. I'll be over there in a minute. I'll come over. Ugh. Look, I have to jump around and grab a fucking cable. I can hear my headphones beeping at me, and I think they're dying. I didn't charge them last night. Ugh, okay. My phone has my usual charger, so this will have to do. Plug you in there. Fucking cable. You're right, turn the bolt. Great. Now, where is the hole? <coughs> Pardon me. There we go. Now that I have my power, I can now just do whatever I want. Hey, energy bar. Brilliant. What's this? Oh, a battery. This is exactly what we need. Now we need another one. Energy bar. Anything else on the floor? I thought there was three things I seen. Anything over here? No. Just this thing right here. ATM. Any free money? Glad this place didn't get looted. I mean, we're here. We're looting it. Does it really matter? Anything else? There's another energy bar. I mean, there's food everywhere, so we should be fine. Hey, girl, what's up? How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. Yeah, thanks. We're all trios I was here. Doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again, and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. Well, it looks like you're doing a a-okay job. He's not shouting. Temper. Ah, fuck you. Yeah. He just proved he my point. It. It's just that. Yeah. We've got kids here. Families. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, 
Barely seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Oh, why not? He's shouting. He's being impossible. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. No. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. Are you sure? I'm not so sure, but whatever. I'm I'm hurt. I'm limping. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Ugh. Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. What's the UGA? God damn. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Dead bodies or what? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. Yeah, makes sense. Get them all out of here. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Yeah, we're well, done talking to you anyway. Why would I give you a bar? Why, what, what's the point of giving you a, a chocolate bar? Door? I'll go there in a minute. Another energy bar. There's three of them in here. Why would I give your boy a bar as well? We can't so let anything happen to Ducky. It's all melted now, hon. Fucking survival to fit us here. I don't remember them very well. Well... Yeah, you left, so... Alright, oh... Battery! We got two batteries now! Perfect! Alright, Clem. Time to feed you. Greeting cards. Photographs. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. Ah, very funny. Is that all? Alright, moving on. Clem, I got you an energy bar. Where are you? There you are. Here you go. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Of course I took care of Clementine. Why would I not take care of her? Here, take these. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Yeah, go for it. Are you gonna do anything with it? God damn! Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Are the batteries in it? <sighs> nothing. What do you mean nothing? Useless cow, I gave you batteries. Oh, they're in. They're the wrong fucking way. Good lord. It's not rocket science. A fucking child could figure it out. As the you fixed it. Continues to spread unchecked. The estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full, uh, my my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. God bless you all. Well, it sounds like their studio got overrun, that's for sure. Is that it? Hey, Tommy. Do we have more dialogue? That radio sign off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. 
Are you sure? You don't have to be. It's traumatic. I'm sure some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Then again, maybe not. Good, I think. Newspapers, anything interesting? Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. What do you mean years? Okay, can we go now? Are we done here? Can we talk to you guys? No, not you. The other ones. Oh, door. Right, yeah, let's go. I forgot there was a door here. Alive inside? I don't think so. Not anymore. Hey, Clem. You following me? I can't. I can't think about them in here. Well, tough shit. Why are you here? Everyone out there seem all right to you. Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. And there was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. Yeah, it did. But you stopped it. Yes, I yeah, did. I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. So you did? Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Alright. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. There's a helicopter. Alright, so this is blocking an exit door. To the alleyway. This door leads to the back alley. Yeah, very useful information. First aid kit. Yeah, first aid kit. What's inside? More useful tools we can bring on our journey. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Take it anyway. Just don't leave it there. Good lord. Do you even know how to survive? There's a photo over there. Yeah, no shit. Oh, look. It's a photo of the family, and it's him. He's outside. He's dead. Wait, did you rip yourself out of that Find photo? Anything? photo of the family who own this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? The world is ending out there. Who cares who I am? If you don't think people will find any reason to turn on you, especially when the shit hits the fan, you're insane. Whatever. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Carly. But, uh, am I supposed to tell people that I'm a murderer? God damn. My parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. This is your store. Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. You should have kept that photo intact. Anything else I can look at? Can't search you because you're completely useless to me. Anything else? Anything else at all? Looks like yes. Useful. A weapon. Kind of. A stick. Very weak. Oh, a cane. What's that? This was my dad's cane. 
He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Well, it looks like he made it happy temporarily. So, what's all... We'll clear this door for when we find the keys. Really? Do we need to? I ought to clear a path to open in that door. I mean, what, there's two buttons here. I want to... Okay, fine. Better get this door clear, huh? Is it that Can three times? Yes, of course. Why wouldn't... Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. You're at the fucking drawers. How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. No, it won't be okay. okay here we go. <sighs> no other questions to ask her? There's more options. Can you kids? No. No. You don't have a family? Not anymore. Dude, just say yes or no. What the hell? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Useful jobs. Good jobs. What's your job? I uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like um, social studies? Yeah, like that. Close enough, I suppose. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. Why are you dodging the question? <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Because they're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. You're fine. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble and, and I didn't talk to him for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yes. Yeah, that's right. Let's get this done. Was that a decision making choice? No. Oh, what happened? Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Ah, uh, it's only a little tiny cut. A little. Don't be such a baby. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I'll find you a bandage. Good lord. A baby coddle children too much and they become fucking pansies. Ah, uh, whatever. I need to build bond with this kid anyway. Let's have a look at that finger. Build up the trust. Ow. It hurt. You're fine. Let's see if we can do something about it. Don't need a smidge of pain. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. There you go. Look at that. You got a sore finger. <coughs> Lee? What? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. But we should keep a lookout. Yes. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Or you can toddle off with someone else. Anything else to talk to you about? Oh, there is. Everyone out there seem all right to you. Yeah. Well, maybe okay, not. Okay, we sick already guy. went through this option. Yeah. God damn it. Keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. Yes, we yes. Can we him. skip? I know. But you stopped it. Yeah. No, I can't I skip. Did. Can you do that more? Well, options you've already gone through should disappear I mean, from the dialogue. Get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. 
How's your thing? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Alright, well, anything else to look at? Mm, yes. An exit point. Dad kept the remote for that thing in here someplace. Oh, now we have to look for a remote? That's exactly what we need. I call it. A universal remote. There it is. It's the remote to my dad's TV. It's the remote to all TVs. Anything else? No? That's what I figured. Oh well. I'll challenge it then. Alright, moving along. Let's go. Out the door you go, I think. Uh, the keys are on that zombie out on the street. Okay. You need the keys. Interesting. Well, it looks like we're all ready. We finally can progress. The drugstore with me. Okay. Lee? Yeah? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh... Why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? I he was. Was he? Well, at least you made it easy on me. I don't want to lie to her. But I didn't know if he was bad or good. Why would I give people bars? I'll keep these bars. These are my bars. Fuck off. Uh, right, so how- fucking hell. Okay, so how am I supposed to progress? Will I just go out to the front door? Can I talk to you guys? Ah, fine. Here, have a bar. It's not much, but here. For the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Yeah. Hey oh! This is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. And you got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you wanna do... Somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Damn Doesn't right you're in. Bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. A jog? I we won't be running. Okay, so where am I going? Over to Carly, or do I go get my keys? Here. You must be hungry. Here. I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, um, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't eat it? Sure it is. Good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay, so... Get the keys. Save your... Wait, is this like a 50-50 thing? If I go get the keys and cause so much trouble, are we gonna have to bail and then... I don't fucking know. Hey there. We'll do this one first, because I'm worried that we might skip it. I don't know what kind of progression the game goes through, so... You ready to head out? You got it. You? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Wait, can we even go out? Just don't... We can't get the keys. 